Hello everyone, this is Bethrow Betkin 07, and I am back with some more Daily Rooms of Death. So, uh, last time in this series, we've cleared up the entirety of uh, King Pilchard's Dungeon 2. So now, what we have left to do is the secret hunt. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go through all these levels. As you can see, there's a bunch of secrets. So, we'll try to find them. So, there's something interesting here. I'm gonna try to get through that black gate. Let's just uh, destroy Bethro's bed, because why not? Ah, my Claude! Crazy Lab of Doom. Alright, traffic light system. Interesting. That's kind of cool. Alright, what's this? Dancing Roach. Okay, that's uh, is, is that Roach dancing on a pole? If so, that's kind of strange, but okay. Spinning Tar Baby, that's cool. That's an invincible seep. Durable seeps under research. What's this? Guessing that's just like an old uh, picture. Gateway to the past. Oh, wait a minute, can I go there? There's, I see a stairway. It creates lightning but activates no doors. That's kind of cool. They didn't have arcs back then. This is still Jury to Root the Hold, I think. Blood Dispensing Brain. Okay, these are these are cute. I, I'm enjoying these little script and things. What's this? Started the descent into the past. The AI compatible level include code. I'm gonna write that down. I saw like a hold that was uh, basically the uh, uh, like this whole thing. So I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna write down the code somewhere though. Uh, give me a moment. So let's just create a new document and the code is eight one eight five seven two. All right. I'm gonna shelve that and look into that later. Maybe we'll even include like a cutaway here to whatever that is. But yeah. Alright. We are now in Architects Edition to try out the bonus hold. So, King Pilchard VI's Dungeon 2, bonus level, gateway to pass confirmation. Alright, let's pull out the code real quick. Uh, there it is. Okay, so, guessing it's. Okay, did that say. Uh, what to do? Um, okay, yeah, the first number of the code. Okay, so yeah, I'm guessing it's from left to right. So one, eight, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero. Oh, I might have screwed up. Hold on. Okay. Put the second number. So that's going to be eight, I'm guessing. So five. Yeah. This is uh, prone to brute forcing, by the way. And then two. Because you can see when it's right or not. That's what confirmed. Alright, it's spiral time. So, this being Architect's Edition, we do not have any. Oh, are you serious? Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do this. Should probably have been its own video, honestly. And maybe it is. Maybe it is. Just gotta be careful because I have not been any checkpoints so far. I don't want to have to restart all this. Okay, that's going fine so far, I guess. Alright, fine. We 
Sparky, could you growing the garbage around you? That won't make you any less garbage, to be honest. Okay. Time to make my way back. Yeah, there's no one do. What you do sticks for the rest of your life. So yeah, you have to get back up there to deal with this. Should be able to. Hopefully I can anyway. There you go. Taken care of. I'll set this juncture, I could probably just do that. Seriously? <laughs> well, isn't that just ridiculous? Uh, yeah, so that's uh, the thing that exists. I, I'm not bound by any rules to, to complete this, but... Oh! The game does not like that. It's throwing errors. What's all this now? Is it even reachable? I'm guessing it is. I'm sorry for the noise, y'all. Blah! Well, that would certainly make someone's head explode. Alright. Unfortunately, this this is not an officially published hold, so there's like no quality control here. Tribute to perfection. Oh, interesting. Except for the part where one, there's no checkpoints, and two, there's no undo. Actually, I could just do this. <laughs> So much for that. <clears throat> Alright, that wasn't so bad. <laughs> no, yeah, I do know what room they're referencing here. Alright, so Sparrow. Oh boy. Sparrows look kind of nice, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, I remember the day when uh, these roaches, the roach queens used to look like actual roaches, but just slightly lighter. I don't know if I would say those were good times. It's, I'm honestly neutral about the, them being, looking like roaches, but I like their new graphics, honestly, so yeah. Alright, I'm going to try to beat this pecking room. Uh, Alright, that should hopefully be better. I'm gonna wait that some align diagonally to her. There you go. There you go, get out of here. Yeah, this is making me... Very glad that I have modern Drod and all of its uh, advantages. I can't imagine having to play something like this in the olden days, you know? Like this, uh. Yeah. It is what it is, you know? Wow, oh my. Dang it! Okay, seriously, where are the checkpoints? Just put some checkpoints. Are you. Also. That's horrifying. <laughs> that that face is way more horrifying. Like he just stares at you. Like he's asking why? Why would you forsake me like this? It's very creepy. I'm not gonna lie. It definitely doesn't it definitely makes you not wanna die. I'll uh give him that much. <laughs> Alright, can I get home now, please? Or will I die again? Okay. Alright. 
Okay, we're fine. There you go. Oh yeah, I remember they used to change the music too for uh, clearing a level. Can I kill you? It should not be possible to kill them either. Okay. Okay, so there's no end to this. Yes, that's what I figured as much. Alright. Well, that's done on that. We're done. That was an interesting little uh, venture into the past. That tar room was uh, a bit rude. I would have put a few checkpoints in there, but otherwise that was about on par with the rest of what we experienced. So yeah, I think now we'll get back to the actual hold. So, cut away. <clears throat> Let's go over there. That's a cool little thing. Now, I'll probably have more thoughts in the actual clip itself, but uh, let's just presume I had a good time. Alright, what else do we have? The boat has nothing, the interior has nothing. There's one secret here. Well, I know where it could be. This pit's in a way. Okay, well, I was wrong. Well, maybe not. No. Still got it. Okay. Okay, well that's not it. Where could it be then? Let's look very carefully. Hmm. Aren't, like, aren't there like these challenge rooms that are a little harder? Or is that the first one? It might be the first one. Okay, I've gotten everything here. Actually, looking at the exploration numbers might reveal something interesting. So there's one secret that we haven't gotten. I'm guessing it's in the middle of the square, because that's the only place where anything could be. Uh, the Spire, I've gotten a secret, that little reference to the Demented cartoon movie. Which, uh, means a classic that, uh... I, I, I don't really have many thoughts on whether it holds up to more modern standards, but I remember loving it as a kid. That's for sure. So two secrets here. Two secrets there. Gotten everything here. Didn't get anything here. There's nothing here. There's one here. There's one here. Alright, so let's look here, I guess. So, I can't help but notice... That there's a series of bombs here. Hmm. <clears throat> See, this is curious to me. Okay, I'm just gonna, like, I'm gonna cheese it. But then again, that's because secret wall mazes are kind of... I, I see it. Yeah, secret wall mazes are an archaic system of doing things. Alright, let's see what's going on over here. Remember me, Budkin? Oh, great, not you again. My new masters will never open to you. Too late. I've already opened the door. Oh. You're annoying me too much. Time to kill, I think. Alright, well, they're dead. I don't remember who those were. At all. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, so we got the secret here. Alright, so. Should I full screen this? Nah, I don't think I will. Yeah, I think it would make it easier on my eyes, though. Because this is pretty small. Aha! Hold on. I see something over here. All right, hold five. Hello there. That's cool. That's cute. I enjoyed that. <laughs> All right, secret time over here. Where could something be? Keep a close eye for anything. Probably not in here. It doesn't look like there's much here. I think 
I saw something here. Actually, yeah, let's go over here. And let's just hug the wall. That'll tell us everything we need to know. Oh, it might. It did. Did it? It didn't tell me anything. Okay. Alright, well, um... Is there anywhere else that anything could have been? I don't think so. Let's continue hugging the wall like this, then. And that will tell us everything we need to know. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's in here. There's a slight possibility also that the level... That the secret room in this level could be accessed from another area. But for now, let's not think about that. Because that just seems complicated and also scary. Oh wait, I see it, I see it, I see it. It's down here. So I'm guessing there's a way back. All right. looks like my popularity goes beyond the 8th. And to think that they said I, they all said I was mad. Is Drod the best? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I would say yes. That is my answer. Final answer, even. Oh, and it lets you back out. That's cute. Okay, nice. Good job. I was worried this was unbacktrackable. Alright, second floor, third floor. Alright. Let's have a go at it. Oh, I see you. I see you. Aha! I have found you. You have been located. Prepare to be, well, discovered. So I guess this just loops around here like this? Alright, cool. Okay, I thought it was more here, but alright. Hello, who are you? Let's get out of here. Why have I heard that voice before? I don't know. Where have you heard that voice before? Is that the instructor? Might be. You know, it's interesting. They got rid of the instructor character between uh, Dream to Rooted Hold and the Empire, and uh, not the Empire, sorry, the City Beneath. It's kind of weird. I never understood why they did that. All right, so that's one secret. And I'm guessing, I don't think there's anything else here, so actually, let me just see if I can find anything real quick, just by looking. Um... Hmm. Well, I don't think I'm seeing anything. Alright, let's just do the exploration dance. <clears throat> As I tend to. Right, it's probably not in here. The keyword being probably. So yeah. <laughs> this is a... Uh... This is the journey through the whole experience in a nutshell. Just keep hugging walls and eventually you'll find something interesting. Although I'm noticing that open over here, but I, no, does, there's nothing there. I don't see anything. Is it in the tar? No. I'm not seeing anything in this room either. Chinchins will I choose? I'll choose none of the above. Alright. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, I thought I saw something. Or maybe I'm just going crazy. Eh. I'm sorry. <laughs> also, if I, I would have maybe put it in one of those corridors if I was the designer. Seems like the most interesting places for that to go. Although, maybe not. I don't know. Okay, I'm not finding anything just by looking around, so that's, uh, that's not good. Is it maybe in here? No, doesn't look like it. Well then, I don't really have an answer, so my guess is gonna be... Either it's in here... Like a double-layered secret, or it's nowhere. 
I mean, it could be possible that there's a secret in here. I wouldn't put it past anyone to just, like, put double secrets and you might just miss it. It's pretty easy. I mean, when you're going in a straight line, you're just tempted to keep going. You're not... You might not notice that there's more to it than meets the eye. Alright, we'll bench this for now. There's a possibility we might find more here. Okay. So, there's a secret in here. Well, two even. Right, yeah, let's go to the end of the level. I think that's always the best bet for this sort of stuff. Because then everything's unlocked. I don't have to redo any rooms. And everything is good. Hello. Doing well? Oh, I must have missed the one that's, that asks, uh, how are you? Alright. Okay, so there must, there must be more. There must be more to all of this than meets the eye. It's probably not in here. I'm gonna guess here, maybe? <clears throat> yeah, probably not in here, but yeah. Okay, am I misremembering or was it in uh, King Pilchard's Dungeon 1 that they had these uh, challenge rooms? Because I remember those. I feel, like, I feel like we had like these rooms where they were like, Oh yeah, you have to do this room in a challenge way, in a harder version or whatever. And that was like a whole thing. Now, I was sure it was in this version you introduced that, but maybe not. I mean, yeah, it's been a it's been a minute since I played this, so maybe I'm forgetting. Oh uh, well. Yeah, it probably isn't the first one, because uh, I feel like I would have seen one of the rooms lead to a challenge or something. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Hmm. This may be another one of those rooms that lead back there from another level. Now, I would have put something that goes through the tar. That would be an interesting secret path to take, in my opinion. Maybe in here? Alright, uh... I'm at a loss. Hopefully it's not one of those cases where you have to get to the level before you clear it. Because if, if that's the case, then that's going to be kind of crummy, you know? Alright, can I go back from here? No? This is going to be bad. Okay, that's not a secret wall. It's kind of weird though because the texture on some of these walls, especially these, it kind of looks like there's a like a small hint of a crack on the wall, which makes it a bit frustrating. Hmm. Hmm. Aha! There's one. There should be two though, but maybe there are two there, so let's go. Alright, we're gonna have another maze, y'all. These aren't even all that interesting. You're just kind of following the whims of the path. I know I used to put them in my holds. I've definitely grown out of it. What the? <laughs> ah, the kamikaze watermelon. 
That's another, that's one of my favorite parts of the cartoon of that uh, demented cartoon movie thing. Not sure about the name anymore, but it's still it's still it's still a funny thing. I don't know. I definitely nostalgic for me. <laughs> All right, let's continue looking. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I'm not seeing where anything else could be. Maybe it's in one of those hallways. Yep, it is. It absolutely is. That's it. You have annoyed me for the last time. No, you. <laughs> All right, let's let's go through here though. Oh, it's gonna be another one of those mazes, is it? I think this the king is a fan of the demented cartoon movie. Could say something about him, ha. Huh. Bifro, please. <laughs> that's not very nice. <laughs> okay, well, that's all the secrets. We got the one here. Got the one here. Alright, secret in here. Where could that be? Oh, yeah, I remember this. That, that's, uh, that reminded me... I, I don't know if I mentioned it in... Uh, in the... When I encountered it. But it reminded me of the NES Ghostbusters game. We have the Stay Puffed Marshmallow climbing the tower. That's a weird thing for that to remind me of, but yeah. Anyway. Paying very close attention to the walls. There you go. Found it. Wee, this is fun. Oops, I accidentally pushed the H-bomb button. Why do these rewards have to be so untangible? I don't know. And I'm enjoying the little references, even though... Yeah, it's, it's definitely kind of an odd one. Alright, so I'm still missing some secrets. I didn't get the one in Bethro's house. Alright, I think I have to do some more exploration. Really must get this fixed. Well, I don't know. Message to Bethro Budkin. Die! Oh no, hate mail! <laughs> okay, I like that. I don't know why I found that funny. <laughs> well, now I just want to make uh, a hold called Bethro versus the hate mail. Ah. Uh. Come on, Bethro. What are you playing at? These guys just tried to kill me. This is the work of the intruders. If you don't want to get killed, then hurry up and come with me. Alright, jeez. Alright, does that go anywhere? I've only explored 46% of the level. That's a very small number. I don't need anything for my storage room right now. Okay, that's gonna be the secret area then. Okay. Like the post uh, master area. Okay, where else can I go? That's all the secrets here. So we're missing some secrets from the third and fifth floors, and I honestly have no idea where to find them. Maybe it's in one of the levels I've already seen, but they're all explored 100%. Except for the secret ones. So that's probably not it. Oh wait, the boat has some extra rooms I haven't seen yet. Probably nothing here. Also, I got a first place tie in an empty room. That's fun. Alright. Okay, I'm stumped. Where are the secrets, though? Like, they'd have to be some... Maybe I need to look more carefully in the actual rooms I'm searching in.
Because, yeah, I saw that room with uh, the character running away, but that doesn't tell me much. I can't get... Oh, wait, I can get through there. I just have to end the script, maybe. I mean, at least I'm hoping that's how that's what it is. Yep, there you go. No, you destroyed my masterpiece. Dude, what? <laughs> what the heck was that a reference to? And why was it so annoying? All right, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm just gonna head out of here. All right. What was? What even was that? <laughs> All right. Um. I'm stumped for anything else though. Um. Yeah, where could anything be? Here? Here's the likeliest possibility, but I'm not seeing anything that looks like something. Hmm. hmm. I don't know what to tell y'all. I have no clue where else anything could be. It's not in here. Um... Yeah, the main thing also is, like, you probably wouldn't put secret walls in a place where it could break the room you're playing right now, you know? That just doesn't seem like a good move to me. But yeah, there aren't any more broken walls, so I don't know. I think I'll go look off screen, and I will be right back. Okay, we have something, y'all, so let's go here. That's where the secret was all along. In one of the rooms, I kind of ruled off because, I don't know. All right, you didn't think I had forgot I had this, did you? I was wondering what this was. Even if it is a little odd for this to be in a castle. Wonder why. Well, that's the, archi the DAA seal. That's fun. Alrighty, let's uh... Let's go check out what is going to be behind those doors. In Beethro's house. Hopefully it's not super long. You don't need anything for storage? Well, I'm going there anyway. Let's have a look anyway. <laughs> Alright, what's up? Are these going to be harder rooms? Outtakes. Alright. Fact closet. Alright. Deja vu. Did you notice some of the levels from other holds of mine? Monkey Adventure on Abandoned Hold, Castle, uh, Second Floor, One North, One East, was actually in Basement Entrance? Interesting. Beethro's World Episode 2. Hmm. Alright, so basically these are basically just saying... Uh, that, uh... Well... Some of the levels from other holds that uh, Pilchard made were taken and used in here. I think that's what this is saying. The Wrath of the Roaches, part of the hold, the themes hold, Ben hold. So yeah, there's a bunch of holds here that I honestly have never seen before. Remember the description for Castle 4th Floor? Well, that was actually a modification, a description of level 25. Instead of neither, I had to introduce the subject. Really? I'll have to check that. So literally all of Castle 4, Floor 4, Castle Floor 4, sorry, was made if, uh, in that hold. Storage originally went the 38th Slayer went a revenge for the death of the 39th Slayer. Interesting. To ease the brain would actually be the brain of the first Slayer. And when the room was cleared, all the Slayers have been seen running away, hence the windy passageways. Oh, interesting. That's a cute little thing. Wrath of the Roaches. Third floor was made in that hold. The only rooms that were not were entrance, one south and one north. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't have been able to know this because I have not played any of those holds. They're probably 
either lurking around in the architecture forum or just nowhere in general. Outtakes, sure. Almost all the bonus material was posted in a WinWar zip file on the forum and a location where this hold can be manually downloaded. So there's a password. So it's dumped to uh, the fact that on remote computers would not work. Let's say the story didn't work very well. Okay, so is there like an RPG uh, maker game? Uh, that's cool. I don't know if I should maybe block the password. It's kind of old, so I don't know. A picture of a battle scene. Ooh, it is. So basically, Pilchard made an RPG maker version of this? That's kind of cool. All right. Character looks kind of out of place though, like the enemy. That's neat. I'll have to look at that at some point. Maybe not now, but yeah. How I intended the battlers to look like? I see. That's kind of cool. Alright. Okay. Let's see some facts. Alright. What do you got for me? During beta testing, Hikari told me that the secret room with Fubi the Kamikaze Watermelon made him laugh so much that it made Soda squirt out of his nose and onto the keyboard. Interesting. First floor, one east, and the boat interior originally had no spiders. Interesting. The custom music in this hold came for Enter Brains, a Nightblade Howling of the Kerberos game. That sounds copyrighted. Hmm. During the production of this hold, I experienced a huge computer crash. Ooh, that sucks. Which made me lose everything in Drawd, including my copy of Dream to Root the Hold. Ouch. That's painful. Castle. 13th floor is originally going to be a level that used Drawd graphics, but was lost when my version of Drawd crashed. I just programmed the whole of Castle 6th floor. <coughs> The one with neither in just one day. Nice. Still a fan of Brian Kendall's Demented Cartoon Movie. Does this whole proof? Yeah, I haven't really looked at it in years, but honestly, it's a definitely a staple of uh, early 2000s internet comedy. And I haven't revisited it in a while, but I, I remember it fondly. It's definitely that kind of surreal humor that's just... I don't know, I, I enjoyed that sort of stuff when I was younger. And honestly, I think I watched it a while back and I, it feels like it was a lot more tasteful than most of the comedy was at that time. So, I don't know, that's good. Well, anyway. I, I mean, I don't want to speak on that, but... Yeah, that's what I remembered. I may be wrong, though. But, yeah. Alright, so I think that's it for this hold. So we're done. I honestly thought it would be a two-video ordeal, but... Yeah, I think we got everything explored. So, this was b throwback in a 7 playing this. Uh, so final thoughts on this. Alright, uh... I don't know if I can rate here. I It's been a while since I saw the hold. It wasn't super hard. It wasn't very hard, in my opinion. But it had some charm to it, so I think I'd give it a 7. It's definitely a very typical Journey to Rooted Hold kind of ordeal, but that's not necessarily bad, you know? I'll be lenient, I'll give it a 7 for now. Mind you that, it's been a while so, so I don't exactly remember a lot of criticism I might have given this, but... Yeah, this is good. It's not bad. It's a nice little, uh... Filler kind of hold, but not necessarily in a bad way. So yeah, this has been Beast of Rebecca 7, with King Pilchard II, uh, King Pilchard VIII's Dungeon 2, Return to the Spire. 
And I'll see you all in the next video series, whichever that may, that may end up being. So, as always, until then, have a nice one.